Hey guys, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero Episode 3. I'm still going to have to get used to that. <laughs> I really am. Right, I'm going to drop the survival knife as well. Just because I... I don't know, I never really use knives in Resident Evil games. Are they just there for the challenge or... I mean, they don't do barely any damage. Not enough to really warrant attacking an enemy with them when you can just run around the enemies. Anyway... When we finished the last episode, we unlocked the conductor's office in by here. So let's go in. We have got three free inventory spaces, and I seem to remember there being something in this room that requires some... <laughs> oh, the train map. Is it the first floor or both floors? Ah, there we go, all three floors. That's oh, the third floor. Oh yeah, a tiny little bit. There's nothing really. We now got the train map. Yep. Let's have a look in here for now. Ah, this is a key item. This we need to get this. Yep. Take the briefcase. If I remember right, you can actually just leave it here and come back for it when you can actually open it. Because for now, the two holes that looks as if they fit some kind of round object. Should I leave it here and have more empty spaces? Well, not from conductor. This is about the briefcase. I've lost the key somewhere. Look for it too, but if you happen to find it, please, yeah. <laughs> Nothing much, but I can leave the herbs here because Billy can't do anything with them anyway. And I think I will. Now we'll take the briefcase just for now. Just for now. Flip the switch. We're going up to the second floor, folks. Finally. <laughs> doom. 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 Right. I, <laughs> I remember this bit. We're in the bar. Yep. All that's saying is that there's something here. Up on the roof. <laughs> I like that little effect. Even the Resident Evil games have weird camera angles. They do it so well. To add atmosphere and effects like that. I've just seen the rain out there. A nice pick. Yes. That is extremely important, peoples. This is if if we came up the stairs from downstairs, you know, this is what we would have seen blocking the way. A puddle of slime is formed around it, around an egg. We can't get past. And we can't. In this room, there is something important again, very important. <laughs> Ooh, ammo. Um, I got an idea, actually, I think. The shotgun. Before we do, though, we ain't gonna get a few items. Increments? No, not for now. Shotgun ammo. First aid spray on the sink. It's a closet. Special lock. Special lock. Oh, I remember. If you complete the game once and come back, you can open that and get... An extra costume, I think it is. Uh, yeah, you know, something similar. I'm gonna leave the briefcase here for now. And what I'm gonna do, and the handgun ammo. No, the ice pick. Just for a moment. What I'm gonna do, get the shotgun ammo. As well as, obviously, to go with it, the shotgun. Hunting gun, I'm sorry. This isn't the proper shotgun, it's a sort of basic version, I guess you could say. Examine. Let's have a look. Shotgun used for hunting. There's a design carved on the barrel. Can be loaded with two shells at a time. So yeah, you've got to reload after every two shots. Which which makes it a bit crap compared to the compared to the shotgun, but two seconds. Um 
No bear take the handgun ammo as well. That's fine. There's a reason for this. There's a good reason why I'm leaving the ice pick behind and the briefcase. Get ready, folks. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. It is. Here we go. Time for a boss. The Scorpion. I want to reload on this screen so that it doesn't take up time when fighting the boss. He's not going to take long to kill because we're on easy. But that doesn't mean that getting hit won't do a lot of damage. I'm not sure if I can run around him or if you meant to try and kill him before he gets to. I think you got to kill him before he gets to. Or as quickly as possible anyway. Last bullet. It's a good job we bought the handgun, really. Come on. Oh my god, it's taking a while. It's normally really easy to kill. Uneasy. There we go, he's done. That's our first boss done already. <laughs> as long as you go properly equipped and everything, the bosses will be pretty easy. Now, the option to take the hunting gun with you is completely up to you. It takes up two inventory slots, and it's not... It's not all that good, you know? Now, I'm going to head back a moment. I'll be right back to pick up the ice pick again. Actually, hold on, hold on. I am going to leave the hunting gun, because after that boss, we get the panel opener. Yeah, okay, now I'll be right back. Okay folks, I'm back. What I did, I went back and got the ice pick and the briefcase. I'm not sure if it's really necessary to carry the briefcase around all the time, but... I'm going to do it because I'm not certain, you know? I don't want to be coming all the way back if if I've forgotten it or something. The reason I've left the hunting gun behind is solely because... Switch for vision and lowering the ladder. Oh, okay. It's solely because we won't be needing it again, it again on this train. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Um... I'm not going to save again. There's no point at all. <clears throat> so if this commentary is a little bit dry on this series, is when it comes to horror games, I like to. It's it's quite hard to make jokes sometimes. I find. Yep, that's where the leeches are at the top of those stairs. Now this, nope, nope, not by there. I remember. We actually need to go to the very other side of the train. No, first of all, oh, how could I forget? <laughs> first of all, we need to get Rebecca back, and that's just what we're going to do now. Come on, Miss Chambers, we... Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> There's me talking. Check his health. Wow, two hits from a scorpion and a zombie grab. Really, it does have a lot of health compared with Rebecca. <laughs> I'm trying to mix up the shooting with the running around. So there's someone I know. <laughs> someone very fluffy. <laughs> Who wants me to shoot more. So I will. Just for him. <laughs> uh, 
And to get Rebecca back now, you need to put an item on here for her. Something sharp and pointy, like the ice pick. <coughs> no. Press button, yep. And up it goes. So I think it can only be done from the inside. I might be wrong, but I, I think it can. Doesn't matter anyway. Try it if you want. From the outside. Tick. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> I bet if you examine it, it says, this is very sharp and pointy. Let's have a look. Nice pick with a finely tapered point. Looks pretty sharp. <laughs> pretty much. Okay, let's use it. And now finally, we can get Rebecca and Billy back together. Donob is unstuck now. It didn't say that it discarded the ice pick. I wonder if it did or not. Let's have a look. Oops, zombie. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Okay, that's good. We want to go downstairs and meet up with Billy now. Because if you put a character on follow, or team, they won't leave the room that they're in anyway. They won't follow you if you're in another room when you press it, you know? Nope, wrong button, wrong button. Yeah, come on, Billy. Right. If you remember with Billy, we got the panel opener. Can you use it for my other character? I might as well learn it all now, while I'm going along with you. Nope. So we got a switch. Oh, we switched in the menu. Okay. <laughs> Let's use it then. <clears throat> that was worth having a cutscene for. <laughs> I think we should have... Yep, we got two extra spaces now. I like being Rebecca, even though she's weaker. I prefer the character. So this is, after all, this her story more than Billy's, in the sense that you see her in Resident Evil 1. But you never see Billy again. Unless he makes, like, a little cameo. Do any more? Okay, that's it. Right. Let's open this door. She was locked from the other side before. We don't have to go through the panel thing anymore. Shock and ammo, first aid spray. I'm going to take the first aid spray. Right. Fuel canteens. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think... I'll ever need to use one. It's not the ones that go in the light, though. Oh, hold on. Gold ring. It's sticky item. them. Let's combine. We now need one more. We need one more ring to open the briefcase. Let's head through here, back outside. Can't quite remember what to do here, but it's a release lever. Pull it, yes. I think it's supposed to be like a little puzzle, sort of. She has to hold that while Billy grabs it. Yeah. Yeah. This hook shot takes two. Two. Um, Inventory slots. Operation manual, okay, warning. Surveys should be used when inspecting difficult to access car roofs or when connecting special trains. Return to its proper location after use. Way to use. This is a ladder there is a ladder outside the small window by the first floor section door. Yeah. Can you remember I showed you a broken ladder before? I think it was a broken ladder. And I said, remember here, this is where we need to use a certain item later on. Well, here's that time. Uh, I'm 
and ammo. Let's give some more ammo to Billy. Look how many healing items we got. That's quite shocking. Anyway, we will be using the hookshot more than once. It's the most annoying item in the game because it takes up two slots. And you've got to... You never know when you're going to need to use it, you know? we got carry it places now and again. Let me have a look at this a sec. Gas tank. Is that for the light or... Oh, we can always drop it, can't we? We can always drop it. No, it's not for the lighter. Or is it? <laughs> Just two seconds. No. Just leave it. It's not an item you'll very much ever need to use. Never need to use if you do it if you play the way I do. You need to combine those fuel can lighter things <laughs> with Oh, oh, oh. With bottles, empty bottles that you find. And they make Molotov cocktails. If you've played any sort of shooting game, then you'll know that Molotov cocktails are very good. They do... You throw them and... Big explosion of fire sort of thing. This a bottle. There we go. Let's get going. This might be a bit of a longer episode, pretty much because of the boss. Ooh. Oh, come on, Billy, you can outwin him. Never mind, let's go. Cool. See, the train isn't the part I normally have problems with in this game. I don't get lost on the train. It's Pretty hard to get lost, I think. Oh. She's on caution. Only Billy can use the hookshot, from what I remember. Let's have a look first. Maybe. Maybe only Billy. This is out the window next to that door, if you didn't see. Right, here we go. Back was left behind. Come on, come on, Billy. What's he doing? Where are you going? Oh, okay, we have to go down this hole, do we? Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole point of coming up here. To kill him. This is supposed to be a safe room. I take more bullets to kill lately. Jewelry box, yes. Examine it. I'm glad I brought... I gave Billy the briefcase now. Because here is the other ring to put on it. Silver ring. So a gold ring and a silver ring combined. There we go. Now we want to examine the briefcase. It's been unlocked. Open, yes. <laughs> and we got the card key. The blue key card. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. I think... Yeah, we can leave this behind now. Leave the hookshot behind. We won't need it again. On the train. I don't think it's a spoiler that... No, knife. No. I don't think it's a spoiler that we... Leave the train. I mean, you can see how small the train is, can't you? There we go, the eggs are hatching, the leech eggs, but don't worry about them too much, they are a new enemy, but all they do is crawl around and now and again hurt you a tiny bit, you can walk on them, look at that, look at that, I want to get to the stairs now, 
That's where we want to get to. It's just the wrong way. How many inventory slots do we have? Loads. So I'm going to get another heal. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a red herb and a green herb. And we're going to make our way back to Rebecca. So she can mix them. And so they're back together. Of course. <laughs> There's some ink ribbons in here. I think it might be a good idea to get them. I remember leaving them behind a while ago. Oh, first aid spray. Hmm. Ink ribbons or first aid? Ink ribbons. We got loads of healing items, haven't we? And only four ink ribbons. So, let's get them. I feel like I'm being very professional in this series. <laughs> Should be wearing a monocle. It's an antique style phone. Lens being kept. That's handy. Get off, leech. Get off. Alright, which way is the locked door that we use the key card on? Um need to turn around, don't we? Uh, one more time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, shame and half. Ah. It's quite important that we kill off zombies this time through. Because the game's going to get a little bit harder after we leave the next area. Um, I'm not sure how much I can say. Either way. Do 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 do. Bow. Um, and yeah, save point. Might as well do this now. It has been a while. It is. Hmm. I keep on about the length of the videos, don't I? I <laughs> should shut up. <laughs> Have you a change? Right. Okay. And have Billy save because he's going ribbons on him and they'll combine automatically when I pick these ones up. Let's see what we can get rid of or not get rid of. Or... What I'm going to do, I'm going to give this to Rebecca. I could keep her as the healer, couldn't I? And have all the key items and stuff on Billy. That'd be interesting. I haven't done that before. All we have on us now is a blue key card, and we're going to be using that as soon as the next episode starts. I like the music in this room, in the safe rooms. I like the Resident Evil 1 as well. It's so calming and so... I don't know, it's simple. It's like the same couple of notes over and over, but it still works. Anyway, <laughs> this has been Green XI. Hope you've enjoyed. See you again in the next episode when... There's a possibility that we'll finish off the train. <laughs>